very good morning uh, in last classes we discussed about 2024-25 paper 2 science paper 2 uh, physics and chemistry part now we are going to discuss part c that's a biology okay these key answers are helpful for you or uh, 2024-25 annual exam 1 2 3 and uh, some questions from these repeat these question papers are very important for your preparation some questions from these definitely repeat and whatever the very very important questions are there those questions i already discussed with you uh, in a uh, last year 10 uh, last 10 year question papers i solved and added in my in, uh, playlist that's a science english medium playlist okay go and watch those videos let's start uh, question main number 12 choose the correct alternatives and write the complete answer these are multiple choice questions total two multiple choice questions are there okay then uh, each carrying one marks 26th one small intestine okay uh, small intestines functional uh, functional part is villi like that only lungs functional part is alveoli because alveoli because alveoli are what the what uh, uh, organs that uh, helpful in exchange of carbon dioxide and oxygen okay they are the what main they play, play a key role in what uh, function of a lung then question number 27 a trait that cannot be inherited among the following shape of the eye inherited color of the hair inherited okay then uh, types of the blood groups inherited but uh, playing skills okay whatever the playing skills are there those are not inherited because those are hmm, Occupied traits, not gained traits. So, uh, it's not inherited. That's why option D, right answer. Then, uh, question main number 13. Answer the following questions, each carrying one mark. Total three questions are there. What is transpiration? The loss of water in the form of vapor from the aerial parts of the plant. From the aerial parts of the plant, it's called as a transpiration. 29th one. The folding up of leaves of uh, sensitive plant touch me not plant on touching with a finger it is not a trophism why because the movement is independent of growth and non-directional this movement is independent of growth and non -direct. that movement is not directional question number 30 mention any two advantages of vegetative propagation okay plants can bear of flowers and fruits earlier than those produced from seeds plants produced are genetically identical desired characters can be maintained indefinitely desired characters can be maintained indefinitely any two points if you write means you will get one mark question main number 14 answer the following questions uh, these are two marks question uh, what uh, two marks question total three questions are there 31st question draw the diagram showing a germination of pollen on stigma and level the parts they asked okay if you see the what ori if you see the ori okay a small uh, tube like structure arised whenever the ori is fertilized okay that's uh, show the germination of pollen on stigma okay this is very important diagram two to three times they asked in previous exams your annual exams write the function of medulla and uh, what uh, cerebellum of the human brain medulla controls involuntary actions cerebellum controls posture and balance controls precision of voluntary actions question number 33rd give reason first one nephrons are called fundamental functional units of excretory system answer kidney consists of a large number of nephron which filter nitrogenous waste such as urea uric acid from the blood then second one small intestine is called a complete digestion center enzymes present in small intestinal juice converts the proteins into amino acids complex carbohydrates into glucose fats into fatty acids and glycerol that's why small intestine is called as a complete digestion center question main number 15 answer the following question uh, three mark question these are okay total three questions are there three threes are nine marks 34th question they asked on a monohybrid cross a tall Capital T, capital T, capital T, P plant is crossed with a dwarf, small t, small t, P plant. Mention the types of plant obtained in F, what, F1 generation and represent the result obtained in F2 generation with the help of a checkerboard and mention the ratio of various 
what varieties of plants they ask so parental plants are capital T capital T that's it all then uh, what uh, uh, parental dwarf plants are small t small t then uh, uh, what uh, by cross pollination uh, tall plants crossed with uh, dwarf plants in f1 generation on cross pollination in f1 generation we get all tall plants uh, with recessive traits also then whenever these tall plants again undergo self pollination and in f2 generation is produced in f2 generation capital t small t capital t small t cross checkerboard with the help of checkerboard if we crossed then what uh, uh, pure tall capital t capital t, one plant available and uh, capital t small t impure tall it's uh, one available and whenever again crossed with capital t small t another one impure tall available and pure dwarf small t small t also available that's why phenotypic ratio that's why phenotypic ratio is 3 is to 1 3 tall 1 dwarf okay then genotypic ratio 1 is to 2 is to 1 1 pure tall 2 impure tall and 1 pure dwarf okay for this 3 marks for this question they asked another one r type question that's a uh, what a uh, dihybrid uh, what a uh, um, uh, what a uh, dihybrid cross round green colored seeds round green okay shape of the seed color of the seed on base of two traits okay whenever we are making the cross then it's called as a dihybrid cross for a uh, what a single trait in a previous case previous question what uh, uh, length of the stem tall and dark based on that we made a cross that's a monohybrid cross so in dihybrid cross what we took uh, round green colored seeds producing pea plant capital R capital R small y small i crossed with the wrinkled yellow colored seeds producing a pea plant smaller smaller capital I capital I show the results of F2 generation with the help of checkerboard and mention the ratio of what varieties of plants they ask then parental plants are round green and wrinkled yellow round green capital R capital R small y small y wrinkled yellow smaller smaller capital I capital I okay then uh, uh, cross pollination gametes capital r small y small r capital y then in f1 generation we get all round yellow seeds all round yellow seeds because round is dominant and yellow is also dominant that's why all round yellow seeds capital r small r capital y small y then gametes of these whenever again undergo a self pollination and in a f2 generation the whatever the seeds are produced some are uh, round yellow some are round green some are uh, what uh, wrinkled yellow and wrinkled green okay four types of plants are available here then uh, whenever we uh, what add these into checkerboard what which one capital r capital y capital r small y smaller capital y smaller small y see these whenever we what uh, make a cross checkerboard then uh, capital r capital r capital y capital r, one pure round yellow is available after that whatever the round yellow are available eight eight round yellow available those all are impure then uh, uh, what with the help of this see wrinkled green we it's available one then uh, wrinkled yellow wrinkled yellow here one wrinkled yellow again here um, then again where wrinkled yellow smaller smaller okay total three wrinkled yellow are available round green uh, round green see here round green then here round green and here round green these three are there then round yellow total eight one two three four five six seven eight nine total nine these are available so then uh, these are what uh, wrinkled yellow here also wrinkled yellow another one somewhere another one somewhere okay then uh, phenotypic ratio they not given phenotypic ratio phenotypic ratio 9 is 2 3 is 2 3 is 2 1 it's a phenotypic ratio 
then genotypic ratio 1 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 4 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1 this is what genotypic ratio question number 35 draw the diagram showing the schematic sectional wave of the human heart label the following parts aorta and pulmonary aorta and uh, pulmonary veins this is the aorta okay it's a uh, main part of our heart it supplies oxygenated blood to all parts of the heart then pul pulmonary veins pulmonary brings a uh, oxygenated blood to heart okay from lungs that's why these are very important and whatever the blue color is there superior and inferior vena cava this brings out deoxygenated blood to heart okay then uh, pulmonary arteries carry the deoxygenated blood to where lungs okay uh, then in first course set question paper they asked a brain and in this set they asked a heart uh, both these are important but maximum they ask in our exam heart diagram what they ask they ask a heart diagram question number 36 what are tropic levels flow of energy in an ecosystem is always unidirectional why explain answer each step of the food chain is called tropic level the energy that is captured by autotrophs does not revert back to the solar input. The energy which passes to the herbivores does not come back to autotrophs. The energy available at each tropic level gets a diminished progressively due to loss of energy at each level. For this question, they asked another one, R type question. What is a ozone? What is the function of ozone layer? What are the causes for the depletion of ozone layer? Ozone, O3 is a molecule formed by three atoms of oxygen protects earth's surface from ultraviolet radiation from the sun use of cfc chlorofluorocarbon okay question main number 16 answer the following questions okay these are four marks questions total two questions they asked okay two fours are eight then 37th question what is a reflex arc trace the sequence of events that occur in this structure when a bright light is focused on our eye answer reflex arc the pathway of nerve impulses in a reflex action receptors in the eye receive the stimulation of bright light messages reach spinal cord through sensory neuron responses reach motor neuron through association neuron responses reach effector through motor neuron muscles of eye close the eyelid these are all because of reflex arc Okay, then question number 38a, explain the structure and function of placenta. Okay, during the pregnancy period, the embryo gets a nutrition from the mother's blood with the help of disc-shaped uh, special tissue embedded in the urine wall is called placenta. It contains villi on the developing side of the tissue, provides a large surface area to transport oxygen and glucose from the mother to embryo, removes the waste generated from the embryo. For this question, or what another one B question is that? What are the functions of the prostate gland? What are the functions of the prostate gland and a testosterone hormone? Answer: Prostate gland. It uh, its secretion make the sperm transport easier and provide a nutrition. Testosterone hormone is responsible for male characters at the puberty level. Okay. Up to now, what we discussed, we discussed. Uh, 2024-25 uh, science model question paper physics chemistry biology part uh, model uh, what are key answers these key answers are very helpful to your annual exam so be prepared uh, take use of time short time uh, remain now not uh, more than two months so uh, prepare well for your exam and uh, try to solve more and more question papers I told for you, I already solved last 10 years question papers in my playlist English medium related, not only science, uh, yes, yes, English, first language English and uh, uh, Hindi, social science, except mathematics, all other subjects, second language Kannada also, except mathematics, all other subjects, question papers I solved and added in my playlist, go and watch playlist with the help of those and not only those uh, by passing package or, or take use of a passing package scoring package those also add in my playlist go and watch those and score more in your exam
थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर यू